whenever we are trying to study a bubble nodule as i told you even in my previous video that we were wanting to look at the size and the involvement of the circumference so basically whenever the size of the bubble nodule is lesser than 3 cm but usually more than 1 cm in size and if there is a circumferential involvement which is approximately 20% or so these are the patients in whom we will consider to do something called as discoid excision of this nodule remember you can't really let this nodule be inside so how is a discoid excision done a stapler gun is passed through the anal end it has it's a circular stapler so it goes inside and it opens up inside like this and then it absorbs this lesion inside this and the gun closes when the gun closes and the staple is fired the nodule comes out in the form of a disc like this outside and as a result of this it is called as a discoid excision this procedure is used for specific size criteria because if the size criteria becomes bigger then you will have to consider resection anastomosis